Choir is led tonight by Alan Schultz, who is uh, on guitar. Cantor Shapiro is on a mission in Havana, bringing supplies of medicine and over-the-counter drugs and uh, uh, toiletries and meeting with the Jewish community there. And so uh, we want to welcome our Cantor Emeritus. Cantor, Sh what's your name again? Forgot Cantor J. Freilich. Our teen choir leads us. Hine Matov, top of page 10. All right, Hashrim, up. Sing unto God a new song, Shiru Ladonai. Thank you. We're going to invite anyone who's in the Dalid or the Hay class to come and join me by our candles.
Since none of you have yet had your bar or bat mitzvah, am I correct? Yeah. That would mean none of you is over the age of 13. Am I also correct? Yeah. Then you get to stay right here because we're going to do the Kiddush. And if there's anyone else out there who is under the age of 13 or in preparation for bat mitzvah, you are welcome to join us here on the Bima for our Kiddush. No, you wait till the blessing. Always blessing before action. Okay. And we're going to invite friends to please rise. Page five. Baruch atar on high, Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher kirishana b'mitzvotav, verhatzav ha'adu. V'shabat kodsho, v'yahav ha'uvratzon, in hilhanu. Zikaron l'maseh, v'reishit, ki hu yom techila. Let me cry, Kodesh. Zecher litziat mitzrayim. Kivan hovacharta. Leotadu hinashta. Mikol hamim. Veshabhan. Baruch atah Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen Friends, we're going to turn to page 20 and 21. You may be seated. And we invite all of you to join Cantor as we sing La Cado Di. Careful of flames. This is a melody that uh, is sung in Israel at the Reform Congregation in Jerusalem known as Kol Haneshama. And at the end, I'm going to tell you a little secret about it. Oh, oh. A little secret. The Adonai echad, u'shemo echad, l'shem o'latiferet, v'lid le'ila. L'echad todi l'ikat ala, yalala, 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 v'shabat, v'kabela. L'echad todi l'ikat ala, yalala, 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 v'shabat, v'kabela. Shabbat, 
Shabbat presence. Let's turn and face our exit as we symbolically welcome the Shabbat bride. Oh, Eve Shalom, a tered bala, gam besimcha, ovetzahala, toch emunei, am segula, bohichala. As you welcome the Shabbat bride, let's turn and welcome each other. Say hello to someone you may not know and welcome them. Say hi to an uh, older friend in the synagogue and make sure they are greeted warmly. Uh, make sure that everybody yeah. has a warm careful, careful and friendly five. greeting here at University Synagogue. <clears throat> Okay, stay up for Baruch Hu. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. Let's try this really quick. All right, so as I promised you, the secret. For a number of years, I was singing the melody to that Lechado Okay, what's the D. secret, Canter J? What's that? I want to hear the secret to Lechado D. You said you were going to offer a little... I, I'm telling him now. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh. All right. So for a number of years, I was singing this particular melody. I knew it came from Kol Hanishama, the synagogue, Reform Synagogue in Jerusalem. And I thought it was some kind of a venerated old song. And I was in Jerusalem a few, about six years ago, and I went to the service there. And afterwards, I met with the rabbi, and I said, is this your melody? Did you compose this? Where did you get it? He said he was in the United States at an Indian powwow. <laughs> and listened to the music. It was, it was uh, We've there. been borrowing for a long time. Yes. Tell him about Adon Olam. Which one? Well, any of them could have been the anyone, old anyone. German beer drinking song. Anyone. Adon Olam, because it's a metrical song, has... You can put anything to it. The worst I ever heard was, The Man on the Flying Trapeze, I think it's called. I've also heard Silent Night done to it. That's even, that's terrible. Um, but it, almost any melody will go with Adon Alam. Not necessarily good ones, but any melody. <laughs> when I lived in South Bend, there was a local university whose melody would fit to Adon Alam as well. Did Which you know that? It? No. Yes, it did. <laughs> Indeed. The melody of the fighting Irish fits to Adon Alam. Friends, we're going to turn to page 28. I invite you all to please rise for our formal call to prayer, Baruch Hu. 28. Ah, ah, ah. 
found on 34 and 5. Our teams are going to lead us. Team choir.
You may all be seated, and you may all come down here and surround Alan, because you've all become Bar Bat Mitzvah, which means you get to lead us in the Ahavta. Friends, we're going to turn to page 36. Our teams are going to lead us. The Hayu Hadvarim Haela Asher Anochi Metzavacha Hayom Alvabecha Veshinan Taham Levanecha Vidibar Tahabam Veshif Tahab Vetecha Ublech Tahab Aderech And Hasharim is going to lead us as we turn, friends, to page 42. There's a special prayer that's only offered at nighttime. And the reason is that nighttime was probably in ancient days, as it may be for us, a time when we're out of control. We put our heads down on the pillow and we're not in charge anymore. And so the ancients were worried about wild beasts and about enemies and about things that would attack on the way like marauders. We have our different fears of nighttime, but Hashkivenu is a prayer that tries to address them as we turn to 42. Hashkivenu. Love. 
far be it from the Jewish people to not put in some extra words when we have the opportunity. So if you take a look on page 46, to introduce a silent prayer, we have some words. Now these words actually tell us that we hope that the words that we offer are meaningful, that the words are words that we find of comfort, words that we find are filled with God's praise. We turn to 46 friends. We invite all who are able to please rise as Hashirim continues. We're going to turn friends to 48 and then 50 as our team choir is going to lead us in Avot Vimahot and then our Gvurot. Sadim tovim, the cone a co, the zoche caste, a vote for Imahot, who may vig ula live never nehem, Lemma and Shemo be a hava, Melechoser, Umoshia, Umakain, Baruchata Adonai, Magen Abraham, page fifty. Fifty-two. Friends, may all be seated. We continue silently through page 60, the right side or the left side of the page. Let's skip any of the passages about Passover or Sukkot. Not our season. And we also invite you to take a look as we passed out this pair of classes, Hay and Dalad wrote their own individual prayers, and you may learn from them because I think they're pretty amazing.
Friends, in about a week time from now, there is a couple in our congregation that will be getting married. And it's my delight to invite forward Rob Suter and Deborah Schuarger to join me at the Ark for their betrothal blessing. And as the Ark doors open, I'd invite everyone else to please rise. Holy and blessed one, once in a lifetime, you give us the opportunity to find someone who touches not only your heart, but also your soul. Once in a lifetime, you give us the opportunity to discover someone who stands beside us, not over us. We find someone who loves us for who we are, not for who we might be. Once in a lifetime, you find someone who never takes you for granted, who knows you can never be too old to hold hands, and who remembers to say, I love you, at least once a day. Once in a lifetime, you find someone who speaks words of appreciation and demonstrates gratitude in thoughtful ways. Once in a lifetime, if you are lucky, you find that special someone as you, Rob and Deborah, have found each other. Mishabera Habutenu Avraham Yitzchak V'Yakov, Limotenu Sarah Rivka Rachel Velea, may the divine source of blessing, the one who blessed Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless you as you approach standing together under the chuppah. May you remember always that the most important part of any wedding day is the person who stands beside you. And may you leave the chuppah filled with the love and affection for each other that will only grow through the years. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam shehechiyanu v'kiyamanu v'higiyanu lazman hazeh. We praise you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has kept us in life, sustained us, and brought us to this holy moment. And let us all say together, Amen. Amen. 
You can kiss the, which, you know. <laughs> really? We waited all our life for that one? Come on, show the girls and boys how it's done. And we sing, semen tub and mazel tub and mazel tub and semen tub, semen tub and mazel tub, mazel tub and semen tub, semen tub and mazel tub, mazel tub and semen tub. Yehelanu, 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 Olecho Yisrael, Yehelanu, Yehelanu, Olecho Yisrael. You may all be seated unless you're sitting over here as Hasharim and teen choir. Come on over here. I want you to come sit with me. And I'm going to invite all the kids to come and join me right over here in this Eilish area. Come on, just have a seat. That way I can speak to you yeah. and with you and not have... Yeah, just have a seat. Yeah. Yes, really. You can sit down here. It's okay. Tonight especially. Okay? All right. So I want to tell you a story about an angel. So... I bet you've been wondering your whole life why it is that my body looks a certain way in a certain space, and how did it get there? And that's the area right here underneath your nose. So the story is that there is an angel, and that when you're about to be born, you know absolutely everything. You know everything. But if you know everything, you're not yet really able to tell anyone what you know because you're a baby. So the angel comes by and very delicately on each baby asks them to just hold their information for a little while, be quiet, and as you grow up through life, you learn more and then more and more comes out because you're smart people. We all know that. And you know what the angel does? He goes, shh, right here. And can you feel right there? There's a little indentation right under your nose. And that's where it comes from. But that same angel saved the Jewish people. Because later on in that angel's time, he saw there was a little baby who was saved from a river. And anyone know the baby's name? Moses, that's right. And some of the Pharaoh's advisors thought that Moses was a great threat to Pharaoh. And so they wanted him to, bye-bye, baby, right? They decided instead to make a test and make it seem like it was fair that they were going to eliminate this baby from being a threat to Pharaoh. So they put in front of the baby two gigantic platters. One platter was filled with diamonds and jewels and gold and rubies. Pretty cool things, huh? How many of you have seen diamonds? How many of you have seen gold? How many of you have seen rubies? Not as many have seen rubies. Okay, well, we got, maybe we can work on that in the next few years. And the other platter was a platter of hot, steaming coal. Now, if you were a baby and you were given the choice of which platter you were going to touch, which platter were you going to reach out for? What do you think? Of course, the gold and the diamonds and the jewels and the rubies, right? Do you agree? No, you think it was going to be the other one? Uh, We'll find out. So, the advisors to Pharaoh said, look, if he's going to be a threat to your throne, he's going to reach for the gold and the diamond and the jewels because that means he wants the glory and the loot and the wealth and the power, and he will be a threat to Pharaoh. But if he reaches for the coals, he's not going to be a threat to Pharaoh because who really cares about hot burning coals anyway? They're hot and they burn and they really aren't very productive. So as the baby is standing, being, excuse me, as the baby is being held and all the advisors are standing around, there are the two platters and the baby's about to reach out to which platter? the diamonds, and the gold, and the jewels. And remember that angel I told you about? The one that made sure that you were quiet your whole life and just kind of learned things along the way and 
your wisdom came out, that angel moved baby Moses' hand to the coals so he wouldn't be seen as a threat. If that hadn't happened, would we have had a leader to lead us out of Egypt? Nope. If that hadn't happened, would we be free from the horrible time that we were under Pharaoh? Nope. And so Moses' is hand is moved to the platter of coals. He touches the coals, and immediately, what does the baby Moses do? He cries for sure, but he takes the hand that's now been burnt by the coals, and he puts it in his mouth to cool it off. And that, say some, is why Moses had a speech problem to the rest of his day and always needed his brother Aaron's help. So a story of two things in our lives. One is how we ended up here as Jewish people because Moses' life was saved. And how you have a little <laughs> right there that says someplace inside you is a great amount of wisdom. Shabbat shalom. All right, go back to your places, everybody. On the back of our service pamphlet is our, whoa, is our prayer for healing. Go to 253. Go to 253, do the Debbie Friedman one. Yeah, 253. We're going to turn in our prayer book to 253. Cantor Frey would like us to do the Debbie Friedman version. 253 in our prayer book. If you know of someone who is ill, if you know of someone who is in need of healing, and you'd like to mention his or her name at this time, please feel comfortable in doing so. We hold all their names in our hearts, friends, as we turn to our Misha Bayrach prayer for healing. Two, five, three. Misha Bayrach avodenu mekor habracha leimoteinu may the source of strength who bless the world before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and, and let, let us say Amen 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 Bless those in need of healing with refuah shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say amen. Now, if you and the teen choir and Hasharim thought you were finished sitting there all night, you're not, because we'd like you to find your mom or your dad or your grandma, or your grandpa, your bubby, your zady, your nana, your nana, your papa, your nanny, your grandma, your uncle, your auntie, whoever brought you here tonight, because we're going to have you sit with them, and we're going to offer the traditional Shabbat blessing upon you. So if your son is here with you tonight, place your hands on his head and repeat after me, Yesimcha. Yesimcha, Elohim, Elohim, Ke'afraim, Ke'afraim Sarah, And if your daughter or daughters is with you, are with you, then repeat after me, Yesimech, Elohim, Elohim, Kesara, oh, Rivka, Rachel, Velea. May God bless you and keep you. May God shine countenance upon you. And may God lift up the divine favor upon you and grant you always peace. We say together, amen. If you are celebrating a birthday in January or an anniversary in January, join me at the Holy Ark. 
we'll offer a blessing upon you. And as our anniversaries and birthdays come to the ark, we're going to invite all who are able to please rise. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Holy and Blessed One, those who stand before your Holy Ark are celebrating a great joy in life, another gift of a year, of time, a birthday, an anniversary. May each of them understand how special indeed that gift of time is, and only to acknowledge that gift is to share with those in need. May each be blessed in their comings and their goings, from this time forth and forever. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam shechianu v'kiyamanu v'higianu l'azman hazeh. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam shechianu v'kiyamanu v'higianu l'azman hazeh. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu we're all going to remain standing, friends, page 282. For Alenu. Alenu le shabe aflato tako, la tekina la leotse brishi, shalo asana ke goye aratsot, velo samanu ke mishwekota adama, shalo sam ke nukahem, vegor alenu ke kola amonam, vanak no korehim. We're going to turn, friends, to 294 for our Kaddish Not that one. memorial prayer. The Shabbat, we especially mark the memories of Michael Eschker, Dick Goldstein, Leonard Kolod, Dr. Philip Levine, and Judy Robbins. We also recall the loved ones who died at this season in years past. Irving Abramsky, Richard Bowersax, Milton Bick, Tilly Dennison, Jerome Disner, 
Stephen Downey, Estelle Ellison, Sid Engelman, Evelyn Evans, Floyd Feeney, Erwin Feinstein, Edward Fujinaka, Lawrence Glessner, Arbor Glazer, Carl Goldenberg, Barry Goldstein, Sidney Harris, Margaret Hartnett, Julian Isaacs, Leland Jackaway, Jerry Jacobson, Sarah Jarris, Judith Caper, Joseph Kessler, Marion Kopolov, Deborah Lee Kovach, Sarah Kraut, Louis Leon, Joseph Lowitz, Diane Maislish, Dina Meyer, Ruth Pass, Judy Rudman, Harriet Selig, Gerald Stark, Jane Trope, Ruth Walsh, and Harry Zipperman. Zichronam Livracha, may each of their memories be recalled as a blessing as we turn to 294 and offer these words together. Itgadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba ba'alma divra chirutei v'yamlich mal chutei v'chayei chon v'yom echon v'chayei dechol beit Yisrael ba'agala u'vizman kari v'imru amen. Yehei shemei rabba mevorach le'alam u'le'almei amaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitramam v'yitnasei v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal Shemei de Kudisha Brichu, Leela Minkol Birchata Vishirata, Tushbachata Venechamata, Da Amiran Baalma Vimru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Bechaim Alenu Vaalko Yisrael Vimru Amen. O Se Shalom Bimromav, Huya Ase Shalom, Alenu Vaalko Yisrael Vimru Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn. Comfort all who are saddened among us here and wherever they may be, and let us say together, Amen. Amen. Uh, we want to thank our Hasharim and team choir who may return to their wonderful location for our final song. You can all sing together. Thank uh, Alan Schultz at the guitar and Cantor J. Freilich for leading our music this evening. Hope you'll all stay for Onik Shabbat, and uh, Orly is here for dancing. We expect to see our teen choir lead the charge in the dancing. And we hope you'll all join us in singing Ose Shalom. Adonai owes la amo yitain. God gives strength to your people. Adonai yivarechet amo vashalom. And give us strength of God, indeed, to find peace in this new year.